Hi there, I'm back again with this new video. Today we had this competition. It was called the Multi Skills Competition in English and it was held in my school. I was asked to judge one of them, and uh, this is the listening part. I deliberately speak very slowly so that the students can get what I'm saying. If I spoke at the normal speed, uh, they would usually just end up with blank papers, and I didn't want that. So, yeah, enjoy the video and please comment. Thank you. This competition was held by the school district 3 and this was the first time the three zones got together and did it. So teachers from different schools were in our school today and as you can see one of them is distributing the papers. So before I go off with the yada 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 <laughs> yeah you, you can listen to the entire thing but I, I, I put this just once in the video. I didn't want to repeat it twice. It would be too much for the listeners. Okay, good morning. So, are you ready to take the listening test? Are you? Okay, so look at the papers that I just gave you. Before we begin, I want you to look at your answer sheets. In page one, in page one, do you see that I have written hibernation and during? Do you see that? How John? Okay. All right. Here we start. I will read this twice, two times. Okay, let us begin. Please write your name on the top of the paper. And the school. Look through your questions. Okay, please listen. It can be hard for animals to find food during winter. Animals get through this time in many ways. Birds and butterflies can fly. Many of them do not stick around for the winter. They leave. They go to a place with nice weather. Then they come home in the spring. We call this migration. Migrating is a good way to avoid the cold. Another good way to avoid the cold is to sleep through it. Many animals hide during the winter. Their bodies slow down. They save their energy. They do not eat. They live off of their fat. They do this until food returns. We call this hibernation. Frogs and bears hibernate. Some animals store food in their homes. They do not sleep all winter, but they do much less. They live on what they saved in summer and fall. This is what squirrels, beavers, and raccoons do. Skunks do this too. Other animals tough it out. They do not leave. They do not hide. They must survive. Sometimes nature helps them out. Some animals grow thicker coats in the winter. Other animals change color. The Arctic fox is brown in the summer. His coat turns white in the winter. It is nice to see snow on the trees. But it is dangerous too. People are also efforts. They can get frostbitten or worse. How do you beat the winter? Do you wear a thick coat? Do you stay inside? Or do you live somewhere warm?
give you a break for five minutes. For the next half, we're gonna fighting skill. After break, take a break. <laughs>